Hi, welcome to postcard number seven. Today, as we said last week, Billy's going to be in the kitchen. And what's on the menu, Billy? Orangoffee pie. That sounds good. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Hi, welcome to Billy's Kitchen. Told you we were going to do some bacon, and we're going to do some bacon today. We're going to do a classic dish from the men's group. Now the men's group invented this dish, it's a pudding and it's a take on the classic banoffee pie although instead of being made with bananas it's being made with oranges so it's called an orangoffee pie invented by the men's group. That's what we're going to be doing today. I'll tell you the implements that we need. We're going to need a saucepan, we're going to need a sieve, a plastic bag a wooden spoon and a loose bottomed cake tin. Now that's all the ingredient, that's all the implements we're going to need, utensils as we say in the kitchen. Now the, here's the ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need a, a tin of caramel. You could make your own but since I'm not a great cook we're getting one out of uh, caramel out of a can. We've got cream, double cream, two tins of mandarin oranges, and the base is going to be made with digestives. Now, we're going to be using about three quarters of a packet of digestives, but you can use as much as you like. If you're feeling really nutty, you can put some ginger nuts in, but we're not going to do that. And you'll need some butter for the, for the base and for the tin. So, that's where we are. Now let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is melt some butter in the pan and then we're going to put the crumbled up biscuits into the melted butter. Now, follow me and we'll put some butter in the pan. We're going to put the butter in here. Now you can just roughly guess. Now here's the tub of margarine. I'm going to take about that much. And then I'm going to take a little more. About that much. See how much is left? That's how much I've taken. Now let's melt it on the pan. On the, on the cooker. Now I should have said to you first, of course, which I did before we started, I washed my hands and made sure they were clean. So make sure you do that before you start. Now I've put the, the ring on, make sure you know the right ring that you're putting on, it'll tell you on your cooker which one to put on. We've put it on at six here and we're going to melt the butter. Now we'll melt that, it won't take too long, we'll leave that melting. While it's melting, here's what we'll do, we're going to smash up the biscuits. Now this is the fun part, take the biscuits, and stick them in the bag, that's what the bag was for. There we go, we've got it in there. We're going to, oh, one implement I never told you that we're going to need. We're going to need this implement here, which is the rolling pin. We're not going to be rolling anything, we're going to be smashing. So I thought the best place to, the best place to smash would be on the, the I've got a hard um, cutting board here, and that's what I'm going to use so as we don't damage anything. Give them a good whack. Oops, I should have held on to that tighter. It's flying out, but here we go. Turn it over so that we can get, as, get it as mashed up as you want. We don't want to mash it up too much because I like a bit, of, a bit of bite in it, so we won't mash it too much. That looks just about perfect. We've got some all over the place, but don't worry about that. We can leave it and tidy it up later because you do know that you're going to have to clean up later. Right, let's get back to the... to the... a... a... cooker and we'll see that the butter is melting nicely. Well, that's the butter just about melted. I actually I didn't use butter. I used... I can't believe it's not butter. But uh, whatever you've got in the house, that'll be fine. Now we're going to get the smashed up biscuits and put it in with the butter. Take the butter off the heat. Remember when you take it off the heat, turn off the ring. Don't want anybody getting burnt. 
Now we've got the biscuits and we're going to put it in the butter. There you go, we've got it in the butter. And you mix it all in, get that butter mixed in with the biscuits. See, I've left a few, all, I maybe could have smashed it up a bit more. We've left some lumpy bits, but never mind. It's looking and smelling lovely. Now, I forgot to say, this pudding is going to be ideal with Fraser's toffee sauce that he makes. Mm -hmm. Maybe Fraser could send us in the recipe for his toffee sauce because we'd love to make that because we love all things caramel and toffee. Now, while well, this is just mixing up nicely, it's soaked up the butter and it's got a lovely consistency now. There you go. Now we're going to put it in the bottom of the loose bottomed cake tin. Now come on over and I'll show you what to do. Here's the loose bottom cake tin. Now, I'll, uh, my assistant has already greased it on the bottom. So that's to make it easier to come off once it's finished. So it's greased on the bottom. Now I'm going to put all the biscuit base inside the cake tin. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Yes, it does. Right, that's that. We'll put it over here to be washed later. Now, now that it's in the cake tin, we're going to press it down to the bottom of the tin. Now just press it down till it's all flat and it's up to the sides. And try to get it nice and even. So that it's the same thickness just about all the way around. Don't worry if there's still some lumps in it. That's going to be good when you're eating it. You'll get a nice big lumpy bit of biscuit and you'll enjoy that. Now, I know this is good because we've already made it in the men's group. And after we made it in the men's group, after we invented it, then I think me and Jane have made it a couple of times in the house here. And it is really, really good. So that's the base. The base is made. Next, we're going on to the filling. Now, on the bottom of the filling, the first thing that goes in is the caramel. That's where the offy bit of the orange offy comes from, the caramel. So here we go. We've got the tin of caramel. You get it from Morrison's, although other supermarkets are available. We'll open up the tin. So put it in different dollops all over the place so that you can spread it out. Now when you're spreading it out, you could use a spoon or a knife or a spatula, that's something that a uh, cooks use in the kitchen. Uh, I never said it was one of the utensils we're going to use, but we might actually use it because we might need it to spread this out. But we'll see. We'll try it with the spoon first. Now, when we were talking about this earlier on, I was saying to Jane, because we were down shopping for the things last night, I was saying to Jane, maybe it'd be better buying two tins of caramel. But Jane said, no, just get the one. Now, if you feel like getting the two, Get the two, because the more caramel you've got in, the more kind of caramely it'll be. But remember, we don't want to be eating too much sugar either, so maybe Jane was sensible at the beginning, saying just have one. So here we go, that's the one tin in. We're going to spread it about. Now, just like the biscuits, spread, you want it nice and even, but you want it spread about all over the whole dish. Oh, there we go. Now I think we could have we could have sprung to two tins. Maybe one and a half tins would have been a good compromise, but you can't buy half tins. So there you go, it's spread out all over the dish and it's looking great. Now you probably could lick the spoon at this point, but I won't because I think I'll leave that just now. As Willie would say, I'm fat enough at the moment. Now, that's the caramel in. What goes next, do you think? I'll tell you what goes next. What goes next is the oranges. Now, you, you'll have to drain these first because there'll be a wee bit, there'll be mandarin juice in with them and we, do, we want to keep the juice because that could be good for something, but we don't want to be putting it on the cake. So we're going to sieve 
the tin of oranges. Open the tin of oranges. Pour them into the sieve. There you go, they're draining there. Now you can be as artistic as you want at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to start spreading them about. I think we're actually going to need two tins here. Now we're going to put the mandarins on the other half of the cake or of the pudding, whatever you would like to call it. The pie. That's the oranges on the pie. Now, only one thing left, and this is where the hard work begins. Now we've got the cream. Mm. We're going to use double cream. I've got Elm Lee here, which I think is actually a bit lower fat than ordinary cream. Not sure about that, but that's what I'm using today. Elm Lee. Now, we're going to whisk it up, so I'll need to get a bowl. I forgot to tell you about that. We're going to need a bowl and a whisk. So, I'll just go and get them. So that's me back. We're going to whisk it in this jug. I've got a nice big measuring jug here, so we're going to do it in that. We're going to use the whole uh, carton of cream. Oh, there you go. Doesn't that look nice? Get the whole lot out, well, as much as you can anyway. That's that. And we're going to whisk it up. I'm going to get the whisk here and we're going to whisk it up. Now this takes a little while. So be prepared to put some effort into it. If you don't want to put so much effort into it, you can always see if, you're, if there's a food mixer and you could uh, whisk it up with the food mixer. You could do that. So I'll carry on with this and we'll stop once it's whisked up. Well... That took a bit of effort, but we got there in the end. There's how thick it is. Doesn't that look good? Now we've got the, the job of putting it on the pie. Just like the, when we were putting the caramel on, just put it in big blobs all around the place so that it'll be easier to spread everywhere. And you want it just like the biscuits and the caramel and the mandarins spread all over the pie. Now we don't want to waste any, so this is where the spatula comes in. Get as much out with a spoon as you can. I think I've done a pretty good job there of getting it out with the spoon. Now we'll get the spatula. This is what I mean by a spatula. We'll be as gentle as we can spreading it about. Try to get it into the sides if you can. Don't worry if the mandarins are poking through a wee bit, that's fine, because we're going to put a little dusting of chocolate on in a minute. I forgot to tell you about that. So we're going to put a little dusting of chocolate on the top. I'm going to put a uh, dark chocolate on, but you can put whatever chocolate on you like. Now there you go, how's that? That's looking nice. Now I think we could get some more cream on that. Let's get all the cream off of here. Cover up any of the wee spaces that you've got. I've got a little cake here of green and black's organic dark chocolate, but there is other dark chocolate available, but this is just a little toty bar and that's going to be enough because we're going to grate some on the top. There you go, the little holes of the grater. Just give it a wee grate over the, the pie. And that is that. That is your orange pie. Now we'll come back in a little while just to see. We're going to chill it in the fridge and then we'll take it out later and we'll see how it turned out. Now we're going to take the pie and we're going to put it in the fridge to chill. Now you might think that's you finished, but you're not finished because you still have the dishes to do. Now I'm just going to do the dishes here, but remember, do the dishes, dry the dishes, don't leave them for anybody else to do. And when you're 
finished with your cans and everything, put them in the recycling. Remember, we like the recycling at the Isabel Rain Centre. You've been really good at that lately. So keep on with the recycling, put them in the recycling. And remember, keep your crisp packets still because we're collecting them for the air ambulance. I know you have all done particularly well with that. I want to give a special mention to Shona. Shona, you've done particularly well. Keep on the good work. But remember, recycle, go on with the dishes and we'll see the pie later. Thanks very much. Now to the best bit, the tasting. And I've got a couple of discerning customers here that's sampling the Orangoffee pie. Here is, I've got Nigella Lawson and Mary Berry. No, actually, it's Jane, my wife, and my mum. Well, Jane's not my mum, but my mum is my mum. Okay, Jane, what do you think of that? Very delicious. Thank do you very much. Answer? And mum, what do you think of it? Absolutely brilliant. Okay, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the men's group, Orangoffee Pie. Thank you very much. Has a bad cooking something up with me? Said, hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe we can find us a brand new recipe? I got a brand new car and a ten dollar bill. As a bad kicking something up with me Well I'm free and ready So we can go steady As a bad saving all your time for me As a bad keeping steady company I'm gonna throw my day book over the fence And find me one for five or ten cents I'll keep it till it's covered with eight Cause I'm writing your name on every page I said, hey, good looking Why? As a bad kicking something up with me I said as a bad kicking something up with me Well, thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a try at home if you can. Now, next time, the plan is, although plans can change, the plan is we're going to do a photo quiz. So we know you like quizzes. So thanks for watching today. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.